If you're connecting Tailwind CSS to your project through the CDN and your VS Code IntelliSense is not working, I'm going to show you how to correct that. So I'm here on the Tailwind installation page. I navigated over to the CDN tab and it's going to explain here that the CDN is designed for development purposes only, not intended for production, of course. Uh, we would want to go through a build step and install it properly, but I'm just using it for a simple tutorial where I wanted to apply some utility classes. So I added the script tag there for the CDN and I could not figure out why my VS Code IntelliSense was not working for Tailwind. So I did, uh, I watched a couple videos, I searched around online, I found some Reddit posts, um, I could not figure it out. I uninstalled the extension, I reinstalled it, I was looking for the Tailwind uh, config file, I thought there was one within VS Code. However, none of those worked and it was a lot simpler than that. So if I head back over to VS Code, I've got some simple HTML here. You can see that I am pulling in the script for the CDN right here. And I've already got some Tailwind utility classes applied. Now let's say I wanted to add some margin on this paragraph here. If I start typing MB, nothing is coming up and I could not figure this out. So VS Code cannot read the script tag being here. It does not realize that Tailwind is supposed to be applied to this project. So the way we need to correct that is we need to go over here in, the, in our project folder. I'm going to add a new file and I'm going to call it tailwind.config.js. We can leave this completely empty. We'll go back to our HTML and look what just happened there. You can see that our color classes here already have that little color icon displayed. So now if I try to add some margin here to this paragraph, it is displaying. So real simply, VS Code doesn't realize that Tailwind is being used in this project. It doesn't read that CDN script tag there. So you fix that by adding in an empty tailwind.config.js file and then your VS Code IntelliSense will work. I hope that helps.